You might be asking yourself, what is the best way to remove a windshield out of a 1971 C-10 truck? Well, this is probably the most effective. All right, so all joking aside, you only need one tool to remove one of these windshields, front and back glass. On these trucks, these windshields are just basically sitting in between a seal that goes around the window channel. It's a very simple process. What you're gonna need is a sharp knife and you're gonna basically cut right along this line right here, if you can see that. You're gonna go all the way around. Now, a lot of guys will actually cut this windshield from the inside of the cab and I really don't understand why um, because honestly it's a lot easier to cut down than up and sometimes you have to kind of get in there and cut it this way all right so as I continue cutting this thing let's talk about something very important and that is the domino effect that happens with car restoration or cars in general because this has happened to me a bunch of different times. The domino effect, you ask, what is that? Well, it's when you go to do one thing and that turns into doing five different things. For instance, I was unhappy with my 250 straight six, so I decided to take the 350 out of my Monte Carlo, get it uh, machined, and I was gonna throw it in here. Well, this is what happened. I got the motor out, I look at my firewall and I'm like, I, I, I can't put a nice clean gem of a motor into this truck with the firewall looking all dirty and rotted and rusty and grimy. So what I did at that point, the first domino fell, I decided to start working on the firewall. Well, once I started working on the firewall, I realized that if I removed, you know, my wiring harness and everything else, I could get to more of the firewall. Domino number two. And this continued to the point where the fenders are off, the wheel walls are off, and I'm really starting to rip into this thing. Before I knew it, <laughs> this truck was in pieces. Now, this is kind of a bad thing because I actually do have a 1971 Monte Carlo that I will show you guys eventually on the channel, but I started a restoration on that, and honestly, I should be focusing my energy on that Monte. But... I'm kind of invested in this truck, so I kind of want to finish this thing first. You know, before the 30th century. So yeah, I mean, at this point, this windshield is, is almost out. I just got this little section to finish up. But yeah, one of these days, I'll show you guys the money when I get a little bit more room. It's sitting in another garage right now, and it's honestly just buried with a bunch of stuff it's kind of a sad sight but all right so here we are so at this point you can see the actual bottom of the windshield so it's now it's just a matter of kind of pushing it out from the inside now safety first guys let's get some uh, glasses on here we're in a good spot here oh there we go like i said not that big of a deal. Now on a, like a Chevelle or something, this would be a little bit more difficult, mainly because these windshields are glued in and they make specific tools for this. But even if you had to remove a windshield that was glued in, it's, it's really not that big of a deal. It's just one more step, but there it is. Simple enough, right? All right, so now we can, peel the seal off and see how much more rust repair I gotta do on this truck. Hopefully not too much, but. All right, so what do we got here? That's not too bad. What is this? Is this a seam sealer? Okay, that's interesting. That's, that's not bad. It could be a lot worse. It definitely could be a lot worse. Now, if you guys ever wondered how to remove one of these dashboards, I actually just did a video on how to remove one of these. So I'll link that up here and I'll put a link in the description so you guys can go check that out. But uh, since we're at it and we're pulling windows out, let's go do the same thing with the back. So as far as the back window goes, that is super scratched up. Wow, I should just take the sledgehammer to this thing. 
All right, you're gonna basically cut along this line just a little bit below. The problem is, is this seal is actually really thick in this spot and it actually is gonna be easier to cut this on the inside. So let's, uh, let's go on the inside of this truck. So it's almost personal preference on how you actually wanna remove this back window. But for me, it seems like it's gonna be a lot easier and a lot less to cut through. If I cut right in the center here, let me show you. So the best way to do it is to basically cut along here because if you look at the seal, you can see that lip of that window channel is right there. So you wanna basically cut right along the top of that. So you can either cut right here or you could cut from the top. And honestly, it just seems like it's a lot easier to kind of follow that window channel and just go across. You know, you can cut it, but I think honestly, the sledgehammer is probably the quickest and easiest way. Where'd I put that sledgehammer? So now, with you holding this window, should be able to. And remember, we're dealing with glass, so safety first. Get on this slip right here. There we go. All right. Boom. There we go, there she is. All right, so I'm hoping that this proved to you guys that you obviously don't need to call a glass shop to come in and replace these windows for you. This is a very simple process with minimal tools. So if you like this video, subscribe, watch these other videos that I threw up here and uh, see you next time.